How's it going? I wanted to show off this cool little project that I wrote the other night. It's actually an idea that I've had for quite some time. I mean, I can't even remember. Maybe it's been a few years. Uh, I've just never set aside any time to do it because it was just such a small random thing. Um, but if you haven't guessed from the title or thumbnail or whatever that's going to be, we're creating artwork in our Git contributions chart. And I have a very simple way of parsing it. It's just using this little text file. And for every single asterisk, it just means to create a commit at that time. So you can briefly see it. There's an H and there's an I. I've already committed this into my repo and pushed it up to Git. And first, you can see I test it out this way vertically, and now it's horizontally. Um, it shows the commits um, one contribution and with that said so this is one commit that's the initial commit that's why it's a little darker so if you don't know the darker it is the more commits are going to be or yeah I guess that way and vice versa um, but even when I deleted these commits and pushed it again these were left here so that's slightly a warning for anyone that wants to just copy this repository and do it themselves so let's drag this to the side and let's look at this code that is, uh, I kind of just made it work, um, so don't judge me for any part of the code. Let's go over here and close that. Okay. So here in the code, we have our main function, uh, main as Python likes to call it this way. And we're loading in a date. A date is where we want to start. Um, so say we go to somewhere that's blank, maybe my 2015. I guess I didn't push anything on here. I think I was using SourceForge mainly at the time. Uh, 2015, say you want to start some artwork. Uh, say you want the artwork to start on this corner day. You want to start a first day on the very top row. So February 22nd. So we would just put in this file date. We would change that to February 22nd. So it loads that in, and then it loads in our file for our artwork, which is the text file with the asterisks and the Xs. And we also tell where the repo is. Um, in this case, and I guess in all cases, the repo is the current directory. And it's going to generate this uh, commit message. And we load in our artwork file, the file of the commit. And basically, um, because on in here, the dates go down, so that's October 5th, we go down, it's October 6th. We want to be able to load it in that way as well. Um, we also want to draw it that way, so it makes it look easier. So we're reading it down, and then back up to the top, and then back down for every single column, which obviously isn't how you read a file, so that was a slightly different for me to do. And then, basically, uh, read date from file also as to parse in the date and then we're just going to commit uh, we're creating a the author date which is the current day and then we're creating our um, we're just doing the initial commit which with that said if you were to clone this it's not going to work right off the bat um, even if I were to try this again right now it's designed for initial recommit um, because you want to get rid of all the older the older artwork um, but I'll probably go ahead and push it still because I already have that high written. So if any sort of git commits are there, it's just going to push to high again. Um, it'll just make it look a little darker. Um, and this also, these first two commits, is why the very first pixel is slightly darker on the chart. But basically, I just have it loop through all the characters in my artwork, create this commit message, um, very basic commit message. If I go exit out of here, git log. It just says committing changes for artwork, and it shows basically when it was done. I was a little risky and set the time zone to zero, or the time to zero. Um, so that was a little risky to try to hope that GitHub was going to assume those were the exact same days and not happen to be a different time zone or an hour off. And then I just check if it's an asterisk, which means the one that draw, and I just do the commit. Um, I pass in a little bit of information. And I say, okay, let's go to the next day now. And here in the commit, we use the Python uh, git library. 
and we basically just commit the change. We're just committing the file. And here's some time zone information that I'm setting. So I actually, oh, the file was called artwork, but I actually played around a little bit. So this was the original file. And I made a few more. Uh, there's a smiley face. As you can see, there's an asterisk and a smiley face. And I'm going to risk it and actually try doing some of these. And that said, it can only be seven high because that's how high these charts are. Uh, it's a little difficult to move these back and forth. Um, they're just seven high. And I guess you don't want to do something at the very end or anything like that. So you can't do something very complex. So I guess if you're a good pixel artist, you can do something. I was trying to do a space invader, um, but I was looking at most of the spaceships and I believe they're all taller than seven pixels. This one right here, uh, smile. So there's a, yeah, so I guess I'll remove that space one. That was nothing. Um, but this one's kind of like a creeper. I'm slightly afraid it's not going to look that well. But uh, we're going to try out the smile one. So let's just copy smile over to artwork. And yes, Python 3, commit pi. Oh, one last thing. That would have been, I guess it wouldn't have been too bad as long as I hadn't pushed it. And let's quickly find a date to put it on. So this is 2015, so we're just going to do February 1st. So February 1st, 2015, just like that. And now let's run it. Python commit. All right. And it's extremely fast. I mean, it's just reading in a text file. And it's creating in all these commits. And this basically should be only the commits for each single asterisk in the file. Um, we could count them, but I I know it's correct. I'm sorry about that. I had to quickly check something, so I cut that out. But we are do a git push. Um, we're pushing up to the upstream, and we're pushing it. And as you can see, it says I was pushed up to my contribution artwork git repo. And let's pull this up. It should be this one. Let's reload, and there's my smiley face. I guess I have an error in there. Um, February 1st was probably the first two commits. That's okay. You can see the smiley face is right there. And if we were to actually click on something, uh, the UI is not that intuitive. Okay. We can see the actual commit. Well, I guess I didn't click on the commit. Here's one of the commits. It's just the artwork and of course you can't see it but here is our project uh, the artworks right here and there's that new smiley face that's simple as that so feel free to clone this uh, start whatnot you're gonna have to kind of tinker it around to make it work with your repo as well I would just clear the git stuff just restart it and push it into your own branch um, or I don't know get rid of all the logs uh, maybe by the time you look at that I'll have it set up a little bit better to work that way so yeah, there's a little smiley face. It's a simple way of doing artwork. I guess if I have a, another time, 2016, maybe it'd be cool to make it so you can load a pixel f uh, file in, like a pixelated artwork, instead of just a text file, and then you can draw something. Maybe you can have this whole thing show a banner for Doom or something. I thought that was a cool, neat thing to try out just for fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well, and see you guys again next time. Bye.